In this lesson, we're going to talk about multiplying a whole number by a fraction using drawings. Let's recall once again what multiplying or multiplication really is. Let's take a look at our example from our multiplication facts of three times four. Basically, this refers to three groups of four. If we think of that, we have a group of four, another group of four, another group of four, which would be four plus four plus four, which gives us a sum of 12. So three groups of four would be equivalent to 12. So think about that as we change that and we multiply a whole number by a fraction. All right, let's look at this problem where we still have the number of groups, but our second factor changes to a fraction. Let's look at three groups of one eighth, which basically would give us one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth, which is three eighths. And to show that with a drawing, we can see that our denominator is eight. So I prefer fraction strips. If you like the circle, that's perfectly fine. But I'm gonna draw my fraction strip. I'm gonna break it up into eight parts. And I'm gonna color in an eighth. I'm gonna color in another eighth. And I'm gonna color in another eighth, which gives us a model of three eighths. Let's look at another drawing with another example of multiplying the whole number by a fraction using drawings. We have four groups of one sixth. Once again, if we think back to what multiplication really is, and recall that it's just like equal groups, a repeated addition, we have a group of one-sixth plus one-sixth, another group of one-sixth, and a fourth group of one-sixth. So we have one-sixth plus one-sixth plus one-sixth plus one sixth, which gives us four sixths. We see that our denominator is a six. Once again, I prefer the fraction strips. So I'm gonna draw my rectangle. I'm gonna break it up into six parts. And I'm gonna represent one sixth by shading in one sixth, this sixth by shading in the second one sixth, shading in the third one sixth, and then my fourth and final group of one sixth. And now we have our model of four sixths. Let's look at another example where we change from using a unit fraction, which is using a one in the numerator, and let's see what happens there. Let's look at this example of three groups of three fifths. Once again, we need three groups, and our fraction is three fifths. So I'm gonna use repeated addition, three-fifths, a second group 
of three fifths, and then my third group of three fifths. And using what we know about addition, three plus three plus three gives us nine fifths. Now let's use our denominator to know how we're supposed to uh, fix our fraction pieces or draw our fraction pieces. So I'm going to draw my fraction strip. I'm going to cut it into fifths. And by looking at my fraction piece, I can tell that I don't have enough pieces so far to color in or shade in nine. So I'm going to do another fraction piece. And we'll break my hole into this. And now I'm going to shade in and represent each one of those three fifths. Here's the first set of three fifths. Here is the second group of three fifths. And the final group of three fifths. Now we can see, if we look and count those, that we have the first group of three fifths, another group of three fifths, the last group of three fifths, and we can see, if we look at all of those fifths, we have shaded in nine fifths, and you probably can see more easily that improper fraction now is a mixed number. If we simplify the improper fraction, we have one whole and four fifths. So our nine fifths is equal to one, sorry about that, and four fifths. I hope this helps you with multiplying a whole number by a fraction using drawings.